Today we're going to be looking at four different Axe body sprays that just might be right for you. So if you're in the store or online and you're about to buy yourself another great smelling Axe body spray, you're already familiar with the older ones and you want something new this time around. So I got four of them that I purchased myself. No one's paying me to do this here, guys. I purchased these myself and tested them all out myself, used them for a bit. And I'm here to tell you which one you should get and also based on the probably the generation that's right for you. OK, so you'll probably look at this one here, being that it kind of stands out a lot and say maybe this is one of the best ones out there. But I got to say, I'm sorry. No, because this doesn't really have that fresh cologne scent. And for me, my vibes is always that fresh water uh, kind of citrus, maybe a bit of cinnamon spice to it and amber cologne scent this is what i'm always going for but this here i'm gonna tell you right now okay it has the older caps okay and you'll see me complaining or hear me complaining about the older caps versus the new caps all right so this here this is this is gonna have like a start up with a sort of a fruit sweet scent to it then followed by like an aftershave scent and if you you don't like the aftershave scent then this is probably not for you okay yeah, okay, so it's going to have that sweet scent and then followed by a aftershave scent. So if you're looking for that, then go for it. If not, try something else, all right? So let's go ahead now and look at the second one that's after the U one here, which is the blue uh, lavender. I don't know what that thing is on it, all right? So blue lavender. Now we got mint amber. So blue lavender, uh, lots of uh, good feedback on this one here. And at first, I wasn't too you know, good about it. I wasn't too high about it, but let me just go ahead and spray this here on my, my forearm. Okay. So this here now, uh, you're going to get that mint scent and it's going to have a bit of like a pinch of jasmine scent, but there's going to be some fruit scent into it, like a sweet fruit scent into it. Okay. And it's going to be mixed with that mint slash amber. Okay. I noticed this one is quite strong compared to the U1 and also compared to the this one here, but we'll get to this one here in a moment here. So definitely, if you're looking for that sweet sort of like a pinch of kind of sweet, there's there's a musk scent to it. There's a little slight musk, vanilla sweet musk scent to it. Like you can barely tell, okay? But it's definitely gonna have a higher note of fruity scent to it, followed by the mint fresh scent. So if that's your kind of go-to, uh, this is definitely for you. Okay, so there's a bit of cologne vibes to it. Like you're gonna smell like a man cologne and a little bit of sweetness to it. Okay, so if you like that, this is definitely the way to go. Okay, and as always, Axe is body spray, not cologne, guys. Just keep that in mind. Please don't use Axe body spray if you're sweaty and you haven't showered yet. All right, so now to the almost second to last recent one here, the Mandarin Sandalwood scent with the word adrenaline missing the E. Again, I think they were just running out of ink or they were trying to save money anyways. So the new caps, I don't like the new caps because you really can't just lock and, you know, rotate it easily. It's going to rotate the base too and you got to hold it. So if you have that issue too, then yeah, you're not alone. Okay, so adrenaline here, Mandarin. You're going to like this one here, but I'm going to tell you right now, after using this one for some time, I started to, to kind of, I guess the word is feel annoyed by the sandalwood scent. The sandalwood scent is going to kick in stronger than the mandarin scent after a while. Okay, you'll notice you'll smell that more versus the mandarin. So you're going to spray it at first. It's going to be like, wow, this smells like fresh citrus cologne scent. You'll love it. And then later on, you're going to realize that the sandalwood scent is going to stick around or linger longer than the mandarin scent, which kind of give it a little bit less rating to me. And that's just my opinion, you guys. It's up to you. You can decide that, but I'm just giving you my experience. So if you don't like that sandalwood scent, I would avoid this one, definitely. But all in all, it's great. And then now, finally, for the latest of the greatest so far. Okay, so I want to I say this is definitely up there with the Anarchy Axe Body Spray, one of the best so far. It has that real masculine, sharp cologne scent, giving you that freshness as you spray it, and it's ice lemon scent. And what I like about this one, it retains that scent. Anything else, it doesn't have any after scent. And by that, I mean it doesn't smell like what it's supposed to smell at first then at the end, it smells like something else, all right? So that's what I like about this one, and that's why I'm giving this one like 10 out of 10 right now. So of all the four of them right now, 
I definitely recommend the Ice Chillist. This is more of the teen, um, maybe going into your 30s to 40s. This is definitely the way to go, you guys. So from teen to the 40s age range, this is the way to go. This here, I'd probably say this is more of the 30s uh, age and going up. It doesn't really have that sharp sharpness to it, but you know that doesn't mean that it's limited to that age range. That's just my opinion, how I feel about it. I am 38 years old, by the way. So uh, definitely, I do like this one here, but I just prefer this sharp scent here, okay? Um, this here, I'd say this is more for the older guys, you know, 40, 50, if you want to, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, that sandalwood scent, that's up to you guys, but it doesn't mean you are limited to that scent, okay? So just give it a go. If you don't like it, then yeah, other than that, I would just avoid it in, in all overall, okay? And then finally, this one here, if you want to smell like... Uh, after shave, you know, just something as a backup, then yes. And in terms of generation, I don't think the younger generation wants this one at all. I don't think you guys would love this one here. So more of the 30s, 40s, 50s, definitely you can rock this, guys. And all in all, I mean, body spray is body spray. You don't want to put too much, whether you're indoors or uh, outdoors. If you're going to be outdoors for a while, then maybe a little bit more spray. But don't overdo it, guys. Don't, don't drown people around you, okay? So that's that. Like and sub. Let me know in the comments section. And thanks for watching.